Welcome to Living Local. I'm Gail Kivestad, your guide, and we're out here at Limonera. Yes, we're gonna take you to the orchard today where you're gonna see fresh lemons growing, the orchards of Limonera. And Stuart Lockwood, you are the gentleman responsible for these ripe fruit, aren't you? <laughs> well, yes, especially picking them. That's, uh -oh. that's... Picking them is, is a real art, isn't it? Well, it is, and then coordinating with sales so they know what's coming and we get the right fruit for their for our customers because it isn't just like you're just going to grow a lemon it's on a tree and then oh we're going to go pack it there's actually a schedule there's people that are right. waiting for this fruit aren't and they and in ventura county these trees will bloom five times a year so we never stop picking never stop picking no we have about 20 crews picking each one has 20 to 25 people Okay, and this business has been around for 128 years. Mm -hmm. Has it changed very much picking a lemon? Um, not as much as you'd think. Um, it's still done by hand. Uh, there's no mechanical process to, uh, to pick the fruit. To shake the trees. <laughs> you could, but it, it tears, the, tears the heck out of the tree. Right. And lemon trees have thorns on them. So if you're shaking the fruit, it gets punctured and scratched. So it, it damages the fruit. So everything is done by hand. Of course, we're using forklifts instead of mule-drawn wagons, but you know that part has changed. But there's still people still cutting it with clippers and putting it in a bag. That's why it's so good, <laughs> right? Okay. Well, let's take a little a closer look at what's going on here. Okay. Well, this is a, a typical lemon block here. These, these trees are probably about 40 years old. 40 years old. Mm -hmm. they'll, oh. they'll produce well 50 to 60 years. Really? And this is all new growth right here, isn't this it? This is all new growth. This is a different, a different color is new growth. So you see you've got basically four different crops on here currently. You've got the blossom stage, you've got small you know, peanut size, and you've got that'll be picked in probably four to six weeks, and then you've got something that could be picked before then. And they all grow here on the same tree? On the same tree. Lemon trees and most citrus trees are two different varieties. You have rootstock and then you have a scion on top of it. And that helps the, that tends to get bigger fruit, tends to be more resistant to certain pests because a single variety tends to be more susceptible to certain bugs. Oh, so right. when you combine them, you get the strengths of both. And what's interesting is that you think of lemon as being one fruit, but there's so many different. There, it's like oranges. There's a million varieties of oranges. There's a million varieties of plums. Uh, lemons in the United States are mostly two varieties, Eureka or Lisbon, but then there are subsets. There's different types of Lisbon, there's different types of Eurekas. Right. And then you also grow organic Meyers out here. We do have some Meyer lemons and some seedless, uh, seedless lemons and also variegated pink lemons. The pink lemons are my favorite. <laughs> and if you don't, haven't tasted a pink lemon out there, you're missing out because you will love, aren't they juicier? and a little bit sweeter they're they definitely have a little bit different taste a little bit different taste and they're you know they're really great colorful on a plate or in a, in a cocktail they're beautiful so try a pink lemon at home when do the bees come the bees don't you have the bees you have to have bees right uh, we don't for lemons lemons are self-pollinating so eat lemon trees have male flowers and female flowers wait 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 <laughs> wait i did not know this yes Tell me this again. Okay. Um, they are self-pollinating. They have male flowers and female flowers and tend to bloom at the same time so they can cross-pollinate. They can pollinate themselves. So is that what's happening right here where you see the two little blooms and the little babies coming out? Mm-hmm. So which one's the male flower? Which one's the female? Do you know? I do not. You'd have to ask them. <laughs> okay, so are you listening at home? You don't need bees? Not for the lemons. So new trees will generally start producing fruit, um, a little bit of fruit, within two years. Okay, um, but nothing and, and like this. Nothing like this. But then by the third or fourth year, there, you get a lot of fruit and you have to go in and pick it. Now those you do pick about five times a year because otherwise the branches break because there's so much weight on the little trees. Okay. So, so. You, you have to keep relieving that weight so it can build, so the branches get strong enough and build a, build a scaffolding to support the fruit. Oh, that's so interesting. And how long does it take the fruit to develop? Look at this little baby. We have right. a little baby right here. Right. So anywhere okay. from nine months to a year, depending on when the when it bloomed. So if it blooms in springtime, usually about nine months because it'll grow a lot during summertime. Real babies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Limonera really is growing baby lemons and they take about nine months. Oh, and that's why they're so fresh and good.
And so you want to create shape and space for it to grow inside? Mm -hmm. How do yes. you do that? Well, if you can see in here, you can see there's kind of a kind of a window. Yeah. So you have sunlight penetrating into the center of the tree. That allows you to have fruit in the inside of the tree. If you, get, if you let all the branches and dead branches, the sticks build up in there, there's no sunlight, you only get fruit on the outside. You can see these are, are some of the shoots. They're called suckers okay. that, they, that they pruned off. Oh, so and that was what they pruned off to make was, the little yeah, holes Yeah, these are in growing up in the inside. And okay. then, so after they throw them down, and then we go through and we shred them. How do you actually pick them? Uh, they have a clipper, just like this and they, they, they clip them. So we want, to, we want to leave the stem on because that the, will allow the fruit to last longer on the shelf. You want to leave the button on, as we call it, it's the calyx. You want to leave this part onto the fruit. What's the oldest tree out here? 1956 is it currently the oldest block. 1956, And it's, really? still, and it's still and good, still good. producing. It's still producing. The 50s, the trees <laughs> have been around. Wow. Yeah, they still produce very well. So it's, it's Happy the, trees. It's just a great location for them, I think. So. Isn't that great to see trees that are over 50 years old mm -hmm. and still producing? It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Thank you, Limonera. Yes. Actually, as we, we, we say, all of our babies are beautiful. So even the ones that are scarred up are good, are full of juice. So. They are. <laughs> well, these babies are beautiful. And thank you so much for sharing with us. My pleasure. Thank you for coming to Limonera. Thank you. Stay tuned for more Living Local.